Thank you, Chip. Well, the city of Dallas has people and equipment ready to respond in case anything happens with the flooding. And it almost certainly oh, will. No. Yeah, Jenny, live with a look. Yeah, so we're in the area of Loop 12 and I-30 in West Dallas, and an accident happened around 4.30 this morning. Uh, it looks like a tanker truck overturned, and we have noticed that uh, tow truck has shown up here at this scene to hopefully get that out of here, but it is causing some major backups all the way back to Davis. So if uh, Davis or any of the streets in front of it are, are streets that you would take or entry ramps that you would take, you want to find a different route. Again, we're at Loop 12 and Interstate 30 in the West Dallas area. Dallas's Office of Emergency Management tweeted out earlier this morning saying most of the wrecks that they've been seeing are because of hydroplaning. So uh, no indication that any other vehicles are involved in this one from what I can see. Again, I'm just giving you the view as I see it from the side of the road here. But the Office of Emergency Management said that hydroplaning is definitely an issue. And clearly, uh, it's quite windy out here as well. It's really not raining quite as hard as it might look like it is in this shot, but uh, definitely windy. I, I don't even know what the point of this umbrella is at this point, guys. But again, the issue is hydroplaning. Please do drive carefully as you're headed out. Reporting live in West Dallas, Jenny and Chondo for a good day. Thanks, Jenny. Need a sturdier umbrella for her. At this point, you put the umbrella away, you just stick the little just, hoodie on. Just deal with it. Yeah, right? otherwise you're going to float away like yeah. Mary Poppins. Uh, <laughs> people in many... Well, that could be good TV, though. Uh, no, 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 no. Dangerous. People in many low-lying areas in North Texas have one eye on the skies and the other on creeks, streams, and lakes. So Dan is live at a mobile home park in Graham Prairie with a look. Good morning, Dan. Well, good morning, Lauren. We are at the Willow Bend mobile home park where memories of the most recent flood are still vivid. Uh, this park is in the 4000 block of East Main in Grand Prairie and we want to show you some video of how things looked around here three weeks ago. Uh, some residents had to spend a few nights away from home to let the flood waters recede. Others had to be evacuated by boats. Uh, and yesterday, flyers once again were distributed, alerting residents they may need to evacuate this area once again. Now, over in Garland, it's a similar story. A number of homes along Duck Creek sustained significant flood damage. Residents preparing possibly for round two. The head of the Dallas Emergency Management Office says the biggest concerns about flooding probably won't happen right away. The rain event itself uh, is not as worrisome to us as what happens two days after the rain ends and how much water is coming from upstream dams that is going to be released. Depending on how much rain we get over the next couple of days, the Army Corps of Engineers may release water from lakes Grapevine and Louisville. And those releases, as we have seen, could certainly raise the flooding concern for areas, for low-lying areas, well downstream from those two very large lakes. Reporting live in Grand Prairie, Dan Godwin on Good Day.